Good evening, everyone. How are you doing? Welcome to another first look. Doesn't seem like five minutes since we did the last one. <laughs> Actually, it's more than five minutes because it was last Monday, wasn't it, when we did the last one, which was, of course, the Goblin line. But I know many of you wanted to skip that one, actually, and come straight for this five circle because we've uh, we've been treated, haven't we, really, to two UK routes in a real short space of time. And that is the uh, bonus of uh, not just having dovetail that create these routes. So, <clears throat> excuse me, um, we've got rivet this time once again for this one. This is, of course, the five circle. So we're going to take a look. And see what it's all about. I'm on the PC again. A couple of things on the PC uh, for the early access on a dev build. So it's updated a lot since the preview stream. If you did see the preview stream that DTG did on Thursday, uh, a few things were taken away from that and were updated. So, um, But it could change overnight again until it releases tomorrow. So just keep that in mind as we are traveling along. Uh, second thing is... I seem to keep upsetting people with some of my uh, pronunciations, as usual, of the uh, the Scottish roots. I can't do the German ones, and the Scottish ones don't get any better. I'm from up north, but I'm not from this far up north. So I'm going to apologise up front if I get any of them wrong again. I've had that many comments. The, comment about, the comments about the pronunciation are only second... To comments about driving games where people ask me if a driving game has got wheel support that's my number one comment across the channel pronunciations is the second one <clears throat> so i'll give it a go you can only give it a go can't you let's say a few hellos dad rail how are we doing nice to see you fire of course laser jet sam smith Sai, dave who else have we got charlie welcome in uh, you should hear mine, says Dad Rail. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this isn't the PS5 version, Dave, although the PS5 version will be updated, um, ready for the release tomorrow. I can't show the PS5 version um, in the early access, so this is PC. Um, <clears throat> got a bit of a, a frog in my throat, unfortunately, so we'll try it. <clears throat> I'm going to struggle, aren't I? Paul, good evening. Good to be in the live stream. You're more than welcome. Right. Just don't judge it yet. Have a look at it. That's what we're doing. That's the that's what we're doing in the first look. So, I, th I don't think that the uh, first look that DTG did was particularly uh, a selling point, let's say, in, in some areas. But we'll, we'll take our usual sort of look and we'll see um what it's all about so first of all uh we got the the brute introduction there is also the um intro for the um uh the train as well for the turbo star available in the training center um we've got scenarios five of those as you can see i'm not going to run any of those tonight i thought we'd do a couple of services i'll leave you guys to run those when you get your hands on it tomorrow but uh, there's a few there various lengths and then service wise i've got 164 services showing that is because we got the 170 which is the new train that comes with the route uh, 97 services for the 170 and then if you own the um the edinburgh glasgow route which I've got installed at the moment. You also have a few short services there for the 385. 223 of those. Um, so at the moment, there's only the class 170 that's new, although Skyhook and River are working on the class 158, which will come at some point later on. So let's get into it, shall we? And uh, we will run something. I did pick a couple of these out. Uh, 1L77, I think we'll do first. So we'll try and go down one side of the route. And I'll show you the route map once we're in. And I'll come back up the other side. I think that's the best way to do it. So you can have a good look at, uh, at what's going on. So this is 1L77, Edinburgh to Perth. Although we only go from Edinburgh to Mark Inch. Um, let's change the weather, shall we? I don't think we need to run it in December. 
Let's go for June, shall we? There we go. Uh, Dave, you watched Dad Rail's show earlier. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, Dad Rail is another ambassador like myself. Right. Announcements. Let you listen to that. If you see something that doesn't look right, speak to staff or text the British Transport Police on 61016. So, yeah, announcements are working. I don't think they were working on the preview stream. Anyway, let's get everything set up, ready to go. We'll get the doors open. Safety systems are over on this wall. So, let's do the AWS Vigilance. DSD, there we go. Uh, the headlights are up here somewhere. There they are. Day running. Right, there we go. Uh, if you need the train lights, the train lights are up here. If you need those. It's a nice cab. The GSMR, uh, by the way, uh, it did say in the article... What did, did it say it was functioning or did it say it was fully working? It's not fully working. It's just it's just like it always has been um, in the past. Um, you can change the um, onboard system there on the front of the train by just going up and down on this board, as you can see. So if you want to change that, that's where you do it. I'm just struggling with the controller to do that. Let's have a look outside. Here's the 170. Quite nice, isn't it? Good evening, Ben. How you doing? Jason, how are you doing, mate? Right. Let's get the doors locked. Uh, Edinburgh, of course, we're used to if you've got the, uh, the Edinburgh Glasgow. So this part of the route you've seen before. Combined brake and throttle handle as well, which is nice and easy. Let's take it for a whirl. You know, if the 170 goes on different Scotland and UK routes, in not in timetable, I don't believe, uh, but you will be able to use the scenario planner. Turn the game volume up. Is it the is it the cab? The cab is quiet. Let me just get out of this tunnel and we'll go outside and tell me what it's like outside because it could be just the cab. How does it sound outside? Is it still low? I'll turn it up if it's still low. Evening, Ratsy. How you doing? This. Good evening. Right. Here, market is first. But we head off onto the five circle proper. Yeah, I know they were saying on the preview stream that the cab is insulated, isn't it? So it is quite quiet. If you open the window, let's open the window. Is that better? The sound that I've got coming through the stream is the, is the, the usual volume that we do on one of these streams. I've not tinkered with it at all, so... It's still low. Right, just let me... Uh, When we get to here, market, I'll turn it up a little bit. Yeah, 
it's better I've d right I've not tinkered with it yet you can't hear anything that's weird I shall turn it up but here mark it Blazerjet, thank you very much for that. How are you doing? I am on the fence for this route currently. Um, See what you think when we get to the end. See what you think. I know that being on the Ambassador Forum, Discord, I should say, it has improved a lot since that stream, if you saw the stream last week, so you might find it's a lot better than what you first saw if you're in that stream. Um, I'm going to turn the volume up a little bit. And you can tell me uh, you can tell me how it is. Right, let's do it. Um, let's do it in game because I can't remember where I've got it set to. Uh, let's have a quick look. Uh, Sixty-eight. I put it up. I put it up to seventy-five. But just let me know if that's too loud. We'll see how we go. But I'll probably um hold on a minute. All right, has that done it? Let me just check again. I'm on the Xbox controller, you know I'm not an Xbox person, so I need to make sure that I'm doing it right. Uh yeah, seventy five, there you go. Right, just let me know how that is. Louder, louder. Change the destination, it's wrong. Uh, okay, All right, hang on. It's because I messed about with it. We're actually going to Perth, aren't we? Let's have a look. Helps if you can see it, doesn't it, when you're doing it. Let's have a look. That's better. Uh, Paul Mont, Linlithgow. Paisley, uh, Presswick, Sterling. Perth's got to be in there, hasn't it? Right, these are the ones we want. Going to beef, Dunfermline. Right, it's going round and round, you know what? I think we're going to be a special. There you go, we're going to be a special. I couldn't find Perth. Right, let's try and get back on track. Uh, Samson, good evening. How long is the run time-wise? About, about an hour each way, I think. Around an hour. Yeah. Uh, what are the issues with the route? A lot of them were to do with scenery. Um, some of the aspects were a bit poor on Thursday when they showed it. But a lot's been done. The announcements weren't working on the version that they showed on Thursday last week as well. They're obviously now now working. But I think it's alright. See what you think. Sounds are awful. They, they recorded the 170 sounds, didn't they? Uh, uh, DTG did that, they were saying. And they passed those over to River for this project, DTG were going to do a project with it and then passed it over to uh, Rivet once they learnt they were doing this
There's Murray Field. And a 385 coming the other way. South Giles next, 2.6 miles. Don't forget to tell me how the sound is now. The game sound, that is. Thanks everybody for coming in. There's lots of people streaming it today from the Ambassador Group, so I appreciate it. The train had white light on the rear. Was it not just reflection? Not sure. I <laughs> just don't neb with. <laughs> that is entirely possible. As you know. I say this every time, but it wouldn't be one of my streams if I didn't do that at least once. Although I did all right on the pre-recorded one that I did for uh, Dovetail's channel last week, the Blackpool branches. I think I'm used to the Blackpool one now. I think that's all it is. Right, we've got 75. So this is where we're coming onto the new part of the route now. Uh, let me show you the map. So we've got Edinburgh on this right hand side. And uh, we go off up here. This is the this is the Glasgow Edinburgh route up here. The fourth bridge is around this sort of area, and uh, we're coming off to the right here. But I'm going to try and run one down this left hand side coming back. So this is the actual circle. Um, one of the serve one of the uh, scenarios does actually take us all the way around the loop as well. About an hour and a half, I think that is. That's quite a good one to do, but there are no services that do that, as I understand it. Here comes the first Nebworth, because I was showing you the map. Ah, oh, it's not going to stop, is it? Straight through. We're going to miss that one. That's an objective failure. Get off the map, he shouts. <laughs> too late you've got a delay you're a couple of minutes behind me i've already gone through it <laughs> uh, yeah it was at least it wasn't as bad yeah at least it was a green sorry everybody at south gale you're gonna have to wait for the next one dear me right i've got to pick my times to show you the map i think in future uh edinburgh gateway is next in point seven so i'm not going to show you the map in that uh short space of time definitely not pony gin shoes waiting for the scenery to fall apart i think it's all right i think it's all right now there's definitely a few things up with it wasn't there on uh, thursday Do what you think. The fourth bridge is nice. Right, this one's a bit better.
as I skip into a building. Let's look at the doors, shall we? Here's the new, uh, some of the new characters. We've got people on mobile phones, the Goblin line. We had people on iPads and all different types of uh, new outfits and whatnot, which is quite nice, isn't it? Just mixes it up a little bit. Good evening, Ted. How are you doing? Dave. <laughs> You're always honest, Dave, aren't you? <laughs> Seven notches of throttle, we've got three notches of brake. A nice livery, isn't it? That Scott Rail livery. Quite like it. Does every route have passengers with iPads? I don't know, actually. I've not seen any on this route yet, but then again, this is the first look. But those are the new character models, which I think they use across all the new routes. I think it's just one set that they use. Animal, how are you? Inverkeeving is next. That's one of the ones that I pronounced wrong in the uh, summary video that I did. I think I was saying Inverkeating. Inverkeeving. It is. Having these onboard announcements actually helps with the pronunciation because she shouts it out just as we're approaching, which is quite good. I quite like the announcements on the Glasgow Edinburgh line, but you had to do those manually, didn't you, on the uh, the train management screen? You had to press the button, which on a controller actually is, is a bit fiddly. But I like the way they, they sort of auto announce on this one. It's quite good. Lee, how you doing? Welcome in. Hope you're doing all right. Stone bridges look a bit low. Wonder if the train's clipping them. We'll have a look the next one. Got an 80 coming up. So don't forget this is releasing tomorrow. Back to the normal price tomorrow. Uh, if you're on console, I might try and stream it on the PS5 tomorrow. It depends whether you want to jump straight in. I might not be able to do that till tomorrow night, but um, if you're not going to jump straight in, you might want to have a look at that. See what it runs like. I would like to have shown you on the PS5 tonight if possible, but I'm just I'm not allowed to show it. Rules is rules. It's stuttering a little bit far, isn't it? I just noticed one then. <laughs> you were waiting for that train, were you, at South Gale? 
<laughs> yeah, just have to catch the next one. I think they're hourly. Here's the fourth bridge coming up. So this is the star of the shore. And uh, I have to remember it's a 50 all the way across. It's a bit hazy, actually, this, uh, this weather that we've picked. Let's get the speed down. I'll be on the tea and biscuits again. I mean, they've built this very well, haven't they? I mean, in real life, they've built it very well. <laughs> but obviously, I mean, in the game. It's very nice in the game, isn't it? The way it's done. I don't think there's anything else like this, is there? Complexity-wise, in the game. The bridges are too low. Yeah. They said they were looking at freight, didn't they? They said they might look to put some class sixty six on this. That's gonna be an issue, isn't it, then if they if they do that. Evening Sean. Oh you don't like the scenery either. Right, I got you. And you're local. Tox, <laughs> Tox too. It can't be as bad as Tox too. Fog, Lee. It really can't. The way that I drive surprises any tea and biscuits left. That's that is correct. Yeah. Bulk buying. Uh, Black Arrow. Understatement of the year there, Black Arrow. A cool red bridge. <laughs> it's pretty cool. <laughs> How are you doing, Black Arrow? Nice to see you. <laughs> right, we got a 40. Ah, that's interesting, that Lee. So you're not you're not going to go for it. It's a different quality. It, it is a different quality. It's noticeable, isn't it? To the Goblin line, for example, it's probably not helped it that it's followed straight on from the Goblin line. But Rivet's last route was uh, the Benina line, wasn't it? Which was excellent. Shut the window, then we can hear the announcements. This is in the key then. I think the route's alright. 
don't get me wrong, it might need a little bit of a polish, a further polish. I think a lot's been done to it, though, since last week. And hopefully, if you did watch that preview stream that I did, you can see that. But, uh, you know, it, it may need a little bit more of a polish, let's be honest. Right, we're actually a little bit early, so let's just jump out of the seat, ignore the alarm. Let's have a wander around, see if we can find a couple of these collectibles, shall we? Of course, you get the audible alarm no matter where you're standing. So we got the planters, that's one of them, we've seen those before. What else have we got? Watch me pick a terrible station for collectibles where well, there aren't any. Let's just do this, which is a bit naughty. We got a route map. There's the route map. So we're coming down this side right now. And uh, we're going to come back up the other side afterwards. Well, actually, we're coming from this end. We're going upwards, not downwards. Um, and uh, we'll come down the other side. Once we get to the other end, so you can see both sides, hopefully. Uh, we have got posters. And somewhere, there'll be these little seal plushies, which Stace will like, if she's still here. If I can find one. There might not be one on this station. I don't see one. Right, maybe there isn't one on this station. Not to worry, we'll find one. Stop this alarm. There we go. Right, let's close that. Get the doors locked. Boyne, how you doing? I didn't see you sneak in there, Bones. Good at Swiss content. Except for the Arrows, like, that was an early one, wasn't it, as well? Just need those mountains updating on a rosa, and it might be uh, might be quite nice. And Mikey, how you doing? Good evening. You're not getting this route tomorrow, even though you like the train. Is it the scenery for you as well, Mikey? Just out of interest. I think. Um, do you remember when West Cornwall came out, which was also a rivet route? A lot of people didn't like that straight away. And um, I don't know what you guys think of that now, but uh, that was given a bit of spit and polish, and that actually was, was quite a nice route. I do quite enjoy the West Cornwall. But that one took a lot of stick when that one came out. Abadour is next. I think that is how you pronounce it. Okay, in about fifteen minutes in. Yeah, I didn't see you I didn't see you popping. Favourite route West Cornwall. It's a good route, isn't it? it? a lot of people don't like the one fifty because of the acceleration and again the sounds the sounds is a popular thing, isn't it? For you know, that people don't like. But um the route itself is actually it's a good run that isn't it it's quite nice west cornwall i don't know if you guys got the um the steam dlc as well for west cornwall that's a nice little pack 
the Steam, uh, there, there was an additional DLC. Can't remember what it was actually called, um, but it put a it put a Steam timetable on there, which is quite nice. So I want to know in the chat if any of you held off getting the Goblin there, because there was a few of you last week said. You could only have one. You were either going to get the Goblin line or you were going to get this. And you were waiting to see what this was like first. I just wonder if anybody that said that has changed their mind. And are you going to go and get the Goblin line? It's quiet with the window shut, isn't it? It's very quiet. Let's just uh, try it again. It's a lot louder, isn't it? I'll leave it open for a little bit. I'm looking at the scenery more as a goal, so you can have a look at it. Um, just to see if there's certain areas that you don't like, or whether it's all the scenery, or... We'd have to have Sean tell us locally, being a local, what it, what it actually, you know, what it compares like. Let's look at this bridge, by the way, that Dave said. Did seem quite low, didn't it? Um, yeah, Sean, you'll have to tell us what it's like in real life compared to this. Got a 50 coming up, and the station is just around this corner, so pop back in. And it's literally just around this corner. Abadawa, this is. Have a quick look at Abadawa. Uh, City Driver comes out tomorrow, Paul. What do you mean? It's already out. What do you mean? It's not a DLC for City Driver, is it? You confused me there. Uh, Nigel says, you can see planes on the YouTube cab ride videos. Not showing them is not realistic. Oh, the, are the planes not in? We had, where did we have planes before? We, right at the beginning, we had planes at Tees Valley, didn't we? And we've obviously got one the Brighton. The Brighton main line. They're in a few places. I wonder why they didn't put them in. Evening, Andy. Did you know you could find Shreks in the Goblin line? Yeah, they're all the collectibles, aren't they? The Goblins. I've shut the doors too early, but it's fine. People can press the button if they want to get on. Planes and ships weren't added to help performance on older consoles. Is that is that real? That I didn't know that. Right, the next place we're off to is Burnt Island. Now I was calling that Burnt's Land. I I would never thought there was a place called Burnt Island. What there is, and this is it. It looks spot on, does it, Sean? Right. No smoke out of the exhaust. That was something that was pointed out on the previous stream. Has that not been fixed yet? I hadn't noticed. Doesn't appear so, does it?
That's the other reason, of course, that the cab is so quiet, is because the exhaust, the engine, is in the middle, not the front. Hey, Richie, how are you? Thanks for coming in. You're confusing me about City Driver because I've been playing City Driver for ages on PS5. You've, you've thrown me there. Um, running early. What's this unheard of tale? Yeah. I did skip a station, to be fair. <laughs> I mean, I've been speeding a little bit. That helps. <laughs> Let's have a look outside here, because it's particularly nice around this sort of section with this course line. As you can see. We are coming up to Burnt Island, so we got a 40 just before the station, so we'll make sure we're down to that. More clutch fuel, yeah. Close that. Listen to the announcement. Person arrive at Don't forget to take your belongings with you before you leave the train. Oh, physical versions tomorrow. I've got you. Now, now I understand. Slightly early, not not too much uh, too much early, Jason. Don't need to get that excited. <laughs> we'll soon lose that time. Don't worry. <laughs> Currently, the timetable is very unrealistic for this route. I wonder what adding the 158 will do to that. Does, I, I missed it. Does the 158 add new services or does it just run on the existing timetable? I'm not sure. Had Nicola Sturgeon on the announcements. <laughs> Maybe she's got a new job. <laughs> oh, dear. Is that the only Scottish lady that you know? Is that is that why, Bones? <laughs> Can't hear anything, Charlie. You you must be the only one because nobody else has said that. Lorraine Kelly, yeah. <laughs> right, Kinghorn is next. Oh, the cranky. I forgot about the crankies. Fan Dabby Dozy. Yeah, she does look like the little cranky, don't she? Nicola Sturgeon.
The 158 should add new services. Oh, that's good. That's good. Got people walking in the park, look. I don't know what that place is over there. Some kind of uh, whoops, some kind of exhibition center or something like that. Just over there, like a modern building. Oh, it's got like a. I'm gonna say that's a water slide coming down the side. Yeah, it is very insulated, Black Arrow. Like I was saying, it is insulated, but also the engine is is here. Rather than at the front. So that also makes it a little bit quieter. It doesn't accelerate very fast I've noticed this 170 that's one thing I'll say about it thanks for coming in though everybody thank you for those likes I can see we're at 20 already which is great appreciate that as always Thirty coming up. Your passengers are deafened, but the driver's okay. <laughs> Yeah, there is that in there. <laughs> can you start and stop the engines? I do believe you can do a cold start, yeah. I think you do that in the scenarios, actually. The Beacon Leisure Centre. The Beacon Leisure Centre, there you go. Some local knowledge there from Sean. Yeah, it was the slide that gave it away. The water slide on the outside. This is Kinghorn. This guy's got new trainers on, look. People down there on the beach. The parasols and whatever. British Empire, that's going back a bit. Right, Kakodi is next. 2.8 miles.
So Dave, you're waiting for a sale. Richie, you're not bothering. Animal wants passengers in kilts. <laughs> Evening Andy, how you doing? This coastline section's nice though, you got to admit. The scenery, you know, you're talking about the scenery, it's not all bad, is it? And this is this is quite a nice route as well in the uh Train Sim Classic as well. This this was I, I really enjoyed this section of the line. In Train Sim Classic. <laughs> Stace is not getting it. <laughs> You're a little bit behind, aren't you, Stace? <laughs> oh, thanks, Paul. Appreciate it. Thank you. Animals getting it Friday. So we've got a bit of a mixed bag, haven't we? Some of you will, some of you won't. Some of you will get it in a sale. Some will wait for some further improvements and then we'll maybe pick it up. Quickly show you where we are on the map. Going up this right-hand side of the circle. But I won't dwell on the map this time because the station's coming up in just over a mile. There's a football stadium here. Anybody know what this is? Sean will know. That's true, Nigel. There's a lot, isn't there? That's the other problem about the routes coming out very quickly. Do you remember? Do you remember not too long ago, there was a route every sort of three or four months, wasn't there? You had a good chance to play them in between. They're all coming out thick and fast now. Rafe Rover. Oh, it is Rafe Rovers. That's nice. <laughs> Sean hates football. <laughs> Rafe Rovers. Well, that's good to know anyway. I did wonder. Scotland United. <laughs> Kirkcaldy. Not Kirkcaldy. As I was calling it. Your luggage may be destroyed by the security services. That sounds pretty serious, doesn't it? <laughs> So I think Mark Inch is as far as we go. And it is indeed. So we'll do that and then we'll go back. We'll try and go back the other way. Uh, round the other side of the circle. I think that's what we'll do. So you can see another part of the route. Nice to see me start getting the place names. I said I was saying at the beginning I had to because somebody was calling me out on it. One of the locals was calling me out. I 
and I did say to him, you know, if you're from Scotland, if you can say if you can say it without knowing it up front, Poultonly filed, and Solwick, and places like that that are local to me, then we'll have a we'll have a challenge, we'll have a we'll have a face off. <laughs> And he actually came back to me and said, no, he didn't. He didn't know how to say those, but he was going to go away and look at them. <laughs> he was giving me stick on Saturday night. I said, sorry, you know, I'll get them right next time. <laughs> That's just a bit of banter. AJ Games, how you doing? Nice to see you. All going good. Yeah, all going good. You're picking it up, Sean, are you? Yeah, the bridges do look a bit a bit low, don't they? Especially that one. Any luggage will be removed and deep fried. <laughs> so we've been going about an hour, haven't we? So that's about right. An hour end to end. I don't know, the scenery seems alright on this part of the route. Is it just the Edinburgh end, perhaps? That needs a bit of work? I don't know. What do you think? Do you think, in your opinion, do you think the scenery is consistently bad the whole way? Or is this better? Not sure. They'll have to lower the track, Dave, won't they, if they put the 66 on it? It might just look a little bit, a little bit silly. Scott fail. It's not that bad, is it, Jason? <laughs> Scott fail. <laughs> So I think coming back, we're going to Mark Inch now, but coming back, we can't start at Mark Inch and come along the other side of the the circle. We've got to start at Glen Rothes, if I remember correctly. So it's not quite the full side. We'll look at the map once we get into it. I did pick a service out to go back the other way, so we'll have a look anyway, but... It's 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 pretty much the full route going back, but not just quite. <laughs> yeah, Mrs. hasn't complained once that she's missing her, her soaps. It must be the deep northern voice that is keeping her transfixed what do you reckon <laughs> you might not get back on your PS5 Paul after this then
need to hire the bridges to do them proper. Yeah, I don't know how they would do that. I don't know. I presume they can just replace them, can they? I don't know. I recall a similar issue for West Cornwall. I could be wrong, but... Sure, there was a couple of bridges that you just sailed right through them because they were too low. Right, coming into Mark Inch, so let's be careful. We definitely don't want to uh, interrupt this red, or we will have the spad. <laughs> Animal's got his jammy dodges out. Please don't talk about biscuits again. Please just don't. Don't do it. We've had too many conversations on this channel about biscuits. <laughs> Stays howling. <laughs> Spicy books? I'm not going to ask. I'm not going to ask about that. We'll soon arrive at Markinch. Don't forget to take your belongings with you before you leave the train. Ten miles an hour over the TPS. I wonder if that's. I wonder if that works on here or not. What was I doing then? Was that nineteen? Did I go over one then? I think I was doing nineteen miles per hour. Do you like those onboard announcements though? I think that adds a little bit of something to it. There we go. Don't know what all this is. Looks like moss or something. Unless it had grass and they put the platform over the top of it. I'm not really sure. So that will be it for this service. So we'll we'll pop back out and we'll uh, we'll go into the next one. Speeding, no surprise. Five hundred and fifty-two points lost. <laughs> At least we got there. That's the main thing, isn't it? Let's go to the timetable. Let's just do this. Uh, and which service was it? 10 or 2. This one. Glen, Glen Rothes to Edinburgh. We'll do this one. Uh, do you want to do snow? What do you reckon? Put it in December. Light snow? What do you reckon? Bit of snow? Why not? It is Scotland, isn't it? It always snows in Scotland, doesn't it? Still got platinum, yeah. Oh, digestives. Look at her. She's off. Welcome to the ScotRail service to Edinburgh Waverley. Calling at Cardendon. Lothgelly, Cowdenbeath, Dunfermline, Queen Margaret, Dunfermline City, Rothaith, Inverkeven, North Queensbury, Dalmeny, Edinburgh Gateway, Haymarket, Edinburgh Waverley. If you see something that doesn't look right, 
Got to find the wipers now. Intermittent. Do we need to do the speed? Nope, that's the side that we want it doing. So intermittent and then driver's side. I'm not really fussed about the other side. I think we'll be all right. Right, let's take a quick look outside in the snow. This time we are going to Edinburgh, so we're good. So yeah, so now we're coming down the other side. So if I uh, just flick that up. You see what I mean? So, so Mark Inch, where we just finished, is up here at the top. So to come back the other way, we've had to come to Glen Rothis, which is here. But what it'll allow us to do is come all the way down this side. Back across the fourth bridge and down into uh, Edinburgh. So you'll see, you'll see the other side of it. Which is quite good. Everybody's popping on. They've not got the winter clothes on though. This guy's in his shirt, look. Oh, he's got his bubble jacket on. He's alright. Right, we'll get the doors locked. <laughs> Wipers are outside the window. Oh, God. He's off. <laughs> Cardenden. Hope that one's right. Haggis. I've never had haggis, actually. Straight into a 15 across the junction. Wasn't ready for that at all. There we go. Meaty black pudding. Yeah, I'll have to try it at some point. I'm just not replying to any of the biscuit talk. <laughs> oh, God. Even Jason's at it now. <laughs> Andrew, didn't see you sneaking there. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the Biscuit Channel. Are the lights on for the passengers? Shall we take a look? Looks like it. As I say, you can turn them... Uh, yeah, train lighting's lit. Yeah, But you can turn it off and leave them sat in the dark if you want to. They are. But we won't do that to them. We'll uh, we'll do that. Uh, where do I turn this off? Windscreen, dimmed, notice board light. There we go. Let's have that turned off. Then we get the full effect. Uh, cab lights, I think, are down here somewhere as well. Put the cab lights on there. If you so wish. <laughs> they don't blame me, animal. <laughs> Yeah, I think they. I think those train lights definitely 
they are auto but uh, yeah you got you've got the option there to uh, to turn them on and off what's this one at the top that doesn't do anything that's a heat a heater i think oh do you see this light as well so if there's any wheel slip just keep your eye on that light if i can just put the if i put the brakes on there you go it's got wheel slip implemented as well I'm surprised it's not wheel slipping when I put it straight to notch 7 thought it might slip a little bit Now Gil Gilly's joined and he's off look. <laughs> Good evening, Gilly. How you doing? Welcome also to the Biscuit Channel. <laughs> yeah, I did I did actually on the uh the DTG uh stream that I did last week, I did actually point out the Fox's Biscuits factory at Kirkham. Which in the DLC, in the Blackpool Brunches DLC, is called Cats biscuits for copyright reasons but if you guys saw that or if you didn't see that go and watch it because i'll show you the biscuit factory just in case you didn't know it was there i know jason does maybe i was feeling the vibe from you guys which was what made me mention it <laughs> We got the snow flicking up as well. Under the train. It's quite good. That's been in for a while now, hasn't it? Yeah, the pipes are actually playing down at... Uh Edinburgh on the station. I think they were in the in the Glasgow Edinburgh DLC, weren't they as well? Just looks like a cut and paste, really. The station. I'm sure it is. I'm sure they're not going to do anything to it again. They're not going to recreate it. Just lift it and shift it. There's the wheel slip. Because I've put it in notch three. No worries, Nigel. You're quite welcome. Tintin biscuits. Oh, God. Well, there you go. There's, there's an idea for your next delivery. You can do the channel livery then, Jason. And stick a massive digestive or something on the side of it. <laughs> I think that'll be uh, that that'll be well downloaded. That one, I think. <laughs> the snow's making Stace shiver. She obviously needs more voice down the microphone to warm her up a bit. But the route looks great in a fog yeah that's the thing you know when you get the route or when you get any of the routes really don't just rely on that dynamic weather just try and uh, experiment with a few different uh, settings some routes look better than others don't they in certain weathers 
I think I will put that wiper on by the way on the other side now it's getting a bit uh, it's getting a bit thick on that window there we go Welcome to the biscuit sent to the Discord. Yeah, so so we, we we should have uh I think Jason will have to go away and create a a biscuit channel in the Discord. <laughs> and if you're not in that Discord, by the way, the link is in the description for this video. So go and click that if you're not already in our Discord. Evening, Damien. How are you doing? Is that deep voice actually working? I'm kind of trying to do it, but I obviously can't hear it, so I don't know whether it's working or what. Biscuit comments in the general channel. <laughs> oh, God. Right. Lock Gelly is next. Let's take a look at the map, actually. Uh, are we safe? 1.4 miles we've got. So, yeah, coming down the left hand side now. Just to show you this, uh, then we'll we'll meet up again. I think I think the that junction there where it meets, I think that's in the Keithin. I'm sure that's in the Keithin. Then we come down to the fourth bridge, back round to uh, Edinburgh down this corner. But look at those mountains in the snow actually over there in the distance. Let's pass under this bridge first. can't actually see them now because of the trees there's like a range over there you can just there they are they're just poking out yeah, it's quite nice in the snow typical Scotland I think Loch Gelly. Don't forget to take your belongings with you before you leave the train. And just for Stace, Loch Gelly. They did miss a trick when they didn't get me to do some of the announcements on the Blackpool branches. Is that going to allow me to stop there? It is. That was... Did you hear that announcement? That was actually quite good. She was saying, due to today's wet weather, just take extra care because the platforms are, are wet. I didn't know we had weather-dependent uh, announcements. I didn't know that was a thing, so there you go. Quite good. <laughs> good evening, Schmalf. How you doing? <laughs> At least you're getting entertained, this. Oh wow, look at that for a wheel slip. Alright, let's put it down to... Uh, let's put the brakes on first. Let's get rid of the uh, the slip. Right, there we go. Let's do this gradually. See if we can get a grip. 
get a grip. Rolling backwards, look. You can see the brick reducing up in the top left. Oh, that's a lot of rolling. Gonna spad backwards, aren't we, in a minute? <laughs> right, it's gripping. Go on, it's gripping. There we go. I quite like that, actually. I do quite like that, that the physics are in like that. It is a hill start, after all, 1.3%. So remember that when you get to Loch Gelly. If you're in any, any kind of adverse weather. There is a hill start, you're right. Yeah, it's on this left-hand side of the controller. Uh, L1, I think, on the controller. I don't know what that is on keys if you're playing on PC, but... Oh, it's on the end of the throttle as well, is it? Is that it? Nope. There's nothing there to press. There is a hill start, though. Let's just have a quick... Oh, foot warmer. These are the door... Uh door controls, engine stop, engine start, close the lights, yeah it doesn't say about the hill start but you can press, um, you can press L1 to do the hill start, from memory. It's the silver bit on the end, yeah, this button. Yeah, you can't click that. It's not clickable. Um, but you can do it on the controller. Powder beef is next. <laughs> You're on one tonight, aren't you? <laughs> Yeah, we're still going uphill as well. 1.2%. The thing is, has anybody has anybody changed the mind about the route as as we've been driving along? Or are you still firmly of the same opinion you were when you came in? I think you'll I think you'll probably uh, pick it up Dave I reckon you'll pick it up <laughs> Richie's on the fence. I can kind of understand it. I can kind of understand it. Um, I will tell you though that this this 170 is quite nice to drive. Count on beef is around this corner. Point seven of a mile. Kind of beef nil, he's five, five. I should have done that down the microphone. Give me another one. Ted, you're not sure about it yet. If you've got the feedback though as well, definitely, um, definitely take to the forums and put it on the forums because it's worth, it's worth just you know expressing what you feel about it if there's something you think can uh, can be done a little bit better I think they're listening oh there we go 444 four, four. 
East 55. Five. That's a good one, that. Well done, Boynes. How long did it take you to think of that one? <laughs> right, now we're going downhill. So let's see. And we're slipping. We're slipping. Down it comes. Go on. I'm so glad that's not a red light. We're okay. 1.1% downhill. That worked out. Not a bad stop, really. If the timetable was better, you would have considered it, yeah. Dave, you'll, you'll get it just for... I, I thought you might get it, yeah. It does, Paul. Yeah, the weather's good. This is why I wanted to try it in snow, because um, the snow actually has got a lot better in TSW over the years. I still think in some cases the trees don't look quite right although they've got better sometimes you just get completely white trees um, you'll see what I mean it's like we've got some trees here like these ones for example they've got little bits of snow in which is what you would expect but right at the beginning all the trees were just completely blanked out white and they looked a little bit a little bit silly they've done a lot of work on that so it does it does add to it definitely adds to the immersion of it cloud and beef services should really have been implemented yeah and this is the thing I just wonder if everybody takes to the forums will they be able to do that I wonder how much work that actually is because they do have people that work on timetables, don't they? At DTG, for example. I just wonder if they would uh, consider doing anything else with it. Ratty, uh, just a bit worried about all the negative comments. You're going to buy it tomorrow, but it feels a bit rushed. You mentioned HST services before, Dave, as well. I forgot to, to comment on that. All the, all the speed signage is in, isn't it, for the HST? So, I don't know why we haven't got any HST services then. I just says quite a few are abstaining until the sales. Yeah, I've been reading that on the forums. Yeah, I wonder how much the 158 is going to cost when that comes out. Don't think we've had a Lawcore DLC for a while, have we? Are they usually about a fiver, or are they more than that? Dunfermline, Queen, Margaret, 2.8 miles. The HSTs run up to Perth along the east side of the route. Yeah, so where we just came in our first our first run up that side Oh, the 12, 12 quid are they for a local DC? I can't remember. What was the last one that we got? Was it... 
See, we've had those uh, we've had those freight packs, haven't we, for the uh, Midland Main Line? I think those were the last ones. Then there was the uh, the Rail Operations Group Thirty Seven, was one of them. The Rail Ed Treatment Train was that a full price one? Can't remember. Yeah, Ratty says as well, twelve quid. Yeah. Twelve ninety nine. If it, you know, it's not too bad, is it? If it brings in, you know, a new timetable with it, as you said, you you know, those one five eight services, where are they going to go? That's why I was saying at the beginning. I wondered. Uh, if it was just going to run in this existing timetable or whether it would actually bring in some new services. Sounds like it's bringing new services in. Um, but I don't know if people will want to pay twelve ninety nine for it when they feel that the route hasn't got enough standard timetable services on to begin with, you know. Uh, but at least you know like we always do we have a proper look at it when we run these ones these first looks we have a proper look um, and I can show you exactly how it is whatever I see you see um, which is which is important and it's nice it's nice that we're able to do it before the route actually comes out as well so if you if you're not sure you know, you can have a proper, you can have another review of it, can't you? There's always the DTG stream, but it's quite nice if somebody else is showing it as well. And there isn't just me. There's a few others showing it today. I'm, I'm sure you've all been nipping in and out of everybody's uh, streams and videos today. But uh, the falling snow has cleared up. Which is quite good. Um, which is part of the dynamic weather system, isn't it? So we can turn these off uh, until we need them again. Just a night, a nice, uh, crisp, snowy morning now. The Centro, Dave. The Centro. Uh, that was just that wasn't a new train though was it that was more like a like a reskin was it four six five yeah Gilly. everyone wanted that four six five didn't they for a long time quite a popular one I think that Yeah, I don't. I think Andrew, I'd, I'd be surprised if that if the one five eight sub, just substitutes for the existing ones. I'd be very surprised. Good to see the sun break up the rain snow. Spring is here. Yeah, nearly. <laughs> it's a pity we can't see the temperature anywhere in the cab. I bet it's a bit uh, a bit nippy. But yeah, it's brightened up quite nicely now, isn't it? I think the dynamic weather thing in TSW is actually quite good. I'm not as keen on the, the transition sometimes between the fog and it going clear like this. Sometimes it just 
changes, you know, suddenly, which is a bit weird. But this, what we've had with the snow, uh, the falling snow, and it being quite dark, to just lightening up like this and just been a nice morning is quite good. So there you go. Try try a few of your next services with the uh, the light snow option. It's quite good. We'll soon arrive at. Confirmment city. Right, you just can't put it in break three because it just slips. Right, we're behind time. But uh, let's just nip out, just have a quick look again, collectibles, because there was a couple that we didn't uh, we didn't get, just so I can show you them. You may have already seen them anyway, but um, let's just, uh, if I can get the door open, we'll see if we can find them. Uh, always, try to carry a bottle of water with you. always carry a bottle of water with you, she says. Well, there's another route map, so we'll get that. Ah, there you go. These are the little seal plushies that you can get. Got a little fish there now. There you go. That's what I wanted to show you. Anything else whilst we're here? Trolly dolly there. We've even got snow in the flower planters, look. Right, let's get back on and stop that alarm. Uh, that's better. Right, close the door. Yeah, behind schedule, exactly. Cover it up with a bit of uh, going looking for the collectibles. Why not? <laughs> oh, the, I didn't see that, Dave. The map, uh, the map on the wall. You mean the collectible? It's wrong, is it? It says here, market depot, and trains don't stop there. I can see 31 likes. Thank you very much for that. That's brilliant. <laughs> yeah, very good, Paul. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah. <laughs> I think I prefer this side of the route a little bit more. I'm not sure why yet. Which is a strange statement to make, but I don't even see that snow actually glistening. I don't know if it comes through correctly over YouTube, but it is actually glistening. As if it's catching the sun. Are there any ships? Uh, someone was saying, Gilly, earlier. Sorry, I forgot who it was that that mentioned it. That um, there were no there were no boats or ships or uh, aircraft near the airport because of the resource requirement on uh, the old consoles. 
saw somebody said earlier. I don't know if that's true or not. The sun's really coming out now, look. So, bearing in mind the wheel slip that we get, I'm going to stop putting some brake in. <laughs> Stace is unstoppable tonight. We'll soon arrive at Rossife. You were at Rossife, Dave, were you as well? You've been everywhere, haven't you? Rossife. Yeah, four minutes late. We are. But, uh, you know, four minutes late is better than those passages at South Gyle, where they didn't even get an opportunity to get on as I sailed through the station earlier tonight. So I want you all to do your homework and come back next week and be able to tell me all the Gaelic names for all these stations as well. That's that's one step too far for me, I'm afraid. But I'll let you guys do it. Oh, it was a proper Nebworth. <laughs> Back to my late ways. <laughs> well, we had the wheel slip. You know, that was another thing. That held me up for a little bit. We are in the teeth of inclement weather, you know, so there's an excuse. I'm going to see if we can speed up as we're downhill. Though in the key thing is only a mile away, so Let's keep an eye on it. <laughs> the only thing you like that's Gaelic is the bread. <laughs> Please don't talk about food again. I thought I thought we'd left that. Right, we got a 30. I'm tempted to say scenery-wise it is as a bush just passed its way through the uh, the cab. Scenery wise, I think this is the best side of the route. We'll soon arrive at 
in receiving. Don't forget to take your belongings with you before you leave the train. It is one of those routes actually as well that's quite relaxing to play. Providing you're not nebwiffing. You know, don't don't relax too much, but Alright, in the key thing. But we haven't got that many stations left to stop at. We've got North Queen's Ferry. Doll. No, that's not Doll Meany, is it? It's Doll Many, I think. Edinburgh Gateway, Haymarket, Edinburgh. So, what time are we due to finish? 11.06, if you're on time, that is. Yeah, Bush. Hooters. Oh my god. <laughs> right, North Queen's Ferry. There is a... I don't know if you heard that. There is a, a guard signal as well. You can just barely hear it. Where is the guard signal in here? Oh, is it this one? Is it that one? Nope. Door release, door release, uncouple, hazards. There is a key for it on the PC, but I don't know what it is. I don't know the key controls for any of it. I, I do use the Xbox controllers, you know, on the PC, so I'm not really sure about the, uh, the key controls. Jason will probably tell me if he's still there. Ratty's on the beer. Holes on the pot noodle. It was for the um, guards buzzer, Jason. Right, let's prepare for North Queen's Ferry. It's quite nice round here, isn't it? Like a suspension bridge or something over that side, look. Again, not knowing the area, I can't tell you which one it is, but there is one, a road bridge. You can just see poking out. Don't forget to take your belongings with you before you leave the train.
bit too much preparation, I think. I didn't realise we were on a 1.4 gradient. S. You think it's S for the guard's buzzer? Shall we try it? Nope, that's the reverser. I just can't find the button for it in the cab um, to do it with the controller. Dream Labs is your old friend, this. I think you've got the record for being told off by Stream Labs the most. There's the fourth bridge. We'll be going across there pretty soon. Under the door, is it under the door close button? Let's have a look. We got the foot warmer on. Uh, what else have we got? Train fault, train fault. Oh, signal. There you go. You're right. Right, we'll do it this time. I heard it, but it's very low, isn't it? Right, off across the bridge. The bridge as well, the fourth bridge does look good at night when it's lit up. That's one thing they've done quite well. I did see that on the preview stream. The road bridge looks quite good. They got the reflection of the clouds on the water as well, which is a nice touch. Hey Thomas, how you doing? Two bridges on the left is the fourth road bridge and the fourth Queen's Ferry crossing. Yeah, over this side. I think Matt was saying, I think it was Matt was saying on the preview stream that one of those bridges was uh, in a bad state of repair so they built a brand new one but now they fixed the one that was in bad repair, he said. So there's now uh, a couple of bridges, if that's correct. We'll soon arrive at Dalmeny. Don't forget to take your belongings with you before you leave the train.
Oh, the Tay Bridge, yeah, the Tay Bridge disaster. Yeah, that was pretty grim, wasn't it? You see, now look at this. This is a bit of a problem. You see the trees are starting to change colour as we get nearer. That's a bit of a shame. It doesn't do it close up. It's just if you're looking from uh, a distance... There's a little seal pup. Edinburgh Wavell uh, doesn't quite fit on, does it? Edinburgh Gateway, Haymarket and Edinburgh Waverley right off we go there is some there is some um, good scenery Paul you, you're right yeah That's what we we're saying at the beginning. If you look at the um, one of the better ones in most recent times, actually, that River have done is the uh, Bernina line. That was that's really nice. That's a really relaxing route. That one, and it's it's long runs as well. But the scenery on that is brilliant. The scenery on the Goblin line, I think, is quite good. That's a DTG one, and then of course you got the Blackpool branches. Which is just trains, which I think is is excellent, to be honest. Let's see if we can get the one seventy up to speed, because we've got a bit of a run to Edinburgh Gateway, three and a half miles. Uh, yeah, that's it, James. Yeah, that's what Matt was saying on Thursday. Yeah. Yeah, it is, Dave. Yeah. There's been a few good ones, hasn't there?
though it's quite good ratty is it compared to real life I mean the goblin line I don't think you're in the live one last week where you sent me some you sent me some messages afterwards but uh, yeah I was gonna ask you what it was like compared to the real thing I mean it's a nice route to drive and it looks quite nice I know you were joking about nobody ever said uh, that the scenery around Tottenham was was any good <laughs> I was talking about I was talking about the game of course I don't know what the real Tottenham's like <laughs> Yeah, there is some tree popping, Dave. Yeah. Uh, here comes the Nebworth, by the way. I was enjoying the view so much. She's announcing it, but I don't know if we're going to stop at it. No, we're straight through, look. We're straight through. Second Nebworth. Oh, can we stop in a platform? No, we're too fast. Far too fast. Right, that's that. <laughs> Dear me. At least we've done one on each side. You get to experience one on each side of the route. But that, see, that's the problem. You can drive it completely like this or you can pop outside you can look at the map you can do all sorts of different things i kind of you know me i'd like to not just stay in the cab the purists will stay in the cab the whole time and not not get out but and then that's what happens but not a spad we're not gonna have a spad we're definitely not having a spad no that won't happen I don't think I've seen a red light so far, apart from at the termination point. There's been a red at the end of the platform, but not on the way. <laughs> Request stops. Yeah, if anybody wanted that one, they've had it. <laughs> have to get off at Haymarket and walk back. Yeah, Edinburgh Gateway and South Gyle. They're not in luck tonight. That's what comes of getting it up to speed. Speeds that we've not touched the rest of the night. I think that was the fastest we've uh, we've had it up to so far. Now, so I think this is where we're joining the Edinburgh Glasgow just now. So if you've got the other route, you'll be used to uh, going off in that direction. And there are some 385 services as well, if you've got that DLC. But I think they're quite short because... Uh, it doesn't go that far on the map. Basically goes up to here. <laughs> she did, didn't she? She got halfway through the announcement and she kind of paused and then went, oops. <laughs> I did notice that actually, yeah. We were even too fast for her. <laughs> well, we're not going to miss Haymarket anyway, I'm determined. Go past Murrayfield again. Yeah, I think the emergency brake wasn't going to do it either because every time with this snow, every time I put it in brake three, 
I'm getting the wheel slip light. I think the emergency brake would have, uh, we would have still ended up, you know, way past the uh, platform, I think. Oh, there's the tram, look. There's a tramp. We'll soon arrive at Haymarket. Don't forget to take your belongings with you before you leave the train. Is that as far as it goes, uh, Jason, Linlithgow? I haven't tried one of those yet. I need to uh, give it a go. I just saw the timings of them in the timetable and knew they weren't going very far. Nice and easy into here, market. We do actually have a red at the end of the platform here at Haymarket. But it's beyond the platform, so we're good. It's a pity we can't get the collectibles by just uh, doing that in the sort of flying camera view. Look, there's another seal. I'm sure it moved then. <laughs> and a poster. Right, through the tunnel to Edinburgh. Let's give him a quick signal back. One mile to go. Yeah, it must be a must be a bug that then. If she's not uh, she's not fully announcing everywhere. It was either that or after uh, Edinburgh Gateway, she didn't want to speak to me anymore. That might be what it is. You probably thought I'm not going to waste my breath in future if he's not even going to stop the <laughs> the bins look happy <laughs> right let's get down for this 20 there's the castle up there And 
will just come nicely and gently into Edinburgh Waverley. Typical woman, the silent treatment. <laughs> She's got to announce this one, surely. This is the big one. We'll see. I don't think she's gonna, you know. It does actually make me wonder if by flying through that station I actually broke it, you know, ruined the sequence or or something like that. Don't know. Maybe it's just a bug. Maybe I'm just thinking uh, thinking into it a bit deeply, I think. There we go. And that is us back safely, just about, to Edinburgh. So, hope you've all enjoyed it. Uh, hope, you, I hope you've had fun. I think you have had fun. <laughs> I think the chat's kept you entertained, even if I haven't done. Thanks for coming in, though. Thanks for all those likes. Um... I think I think it's a mixed bag from you guys is the message that I'm getting. Um, if you do pick it up tomorrow, or if you change your mind, if you're a bit on the fence now, but you do pick it up, uh, do drop me a comment on the bottom of this one tomorrow. Let me know. Um, and uh, let me know how you find it. I don't think it's a bad route. I think it needs a bit of a polish in places. The 170 is nice. Um, it's just odd little bits of scenery still need a bit of work but as a route itself i think it's it's quite nice it needs those services adding in fairly quickly uh, and i'm sure if there's a usual backlash backlash on the forums um they might do something about that we'll see i think it depends how popular it is tomorrow but yeah let me know if you do get it and um i'll try and stream the ps5 version tomorrow if i get a chance um so yeah, thanks for coming in. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Many more appealing, but 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 it's nothing from you, Gilly. I've got you. Um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Cheers, everyone. Bye for now.